Hello, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today, we're continuing a series on the Export Tool tab, and we're going to take a look at Export Location. Now, we've touched on Export Location a little bit previously, but I wanted to talk about it explicitly here because it is worthwhile to pay attention to. The first option is where are the exports going to go? And it's important to have one particular location that you like. I use my downloads folder, and I think that it's relevant or useful for most people most of the time for your export location to be the same independent of the recipe. So all of my recipes actually use the exact same export location, which is my downloads folder. But the question is, are we going to have a subfolder? You can create a subfolder automatically when you export merely by typing in a name into the subfolder option here or by creating a name automatically using the token system. You can grab any particular token just like you can with any other naming tool inside of Capture One in order to automatically generate a name. But you'll notice I have used the subfolder option. The subfolder option inside of the subfolder section of the export location tool seems a little redundant, but it specifically references back to the cross recipe token tool. Now we've touched on this before, that if we have the subfolder option here, and we put in some kind of a token, then what we can do is have all of our export recipes have the subfolder option turned on for their location. They'll all create individual subfolders and then we can have those subfolders differentiate based on the recipe name or the type of recipe or something else. I find recipe name to be really useful. In this way you can export the same image with three different treatments and they will go into three different folders and the only thing that you would have to change for the name of it or the way that it works is to change it inside of the cross recipe tokens. So I actually like to use the subfolder token here in the subfolder option of export location. Lastly, we have existing files. This is saying if I have two files that have the exact same name, what do I do? Do I add a suffix? Do, do I overwrite the previous file or do I skip? Make sure you have this selected properly. But if you are sending your exported images into your downloads folder, then you're probably clearing that out regularly and it should not be a big deal. But to make sure you don't accidentally save the wrong version, you can leave this defaulted at add suffix. Then it's going to give us a sample path and we can click on this in order to be able to find the actual folder and where it's going to go so that we know exactly what is going to happen. All right, that's the export location tool. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.